Cypress, a testing solution for web applications famous for making test-driven development fun for JavaScript developers. We all know testing is the right thing to do, but actually doing it in a front-end JavaScript project can be complicated, slow, and just not fun. For many, the obvious solution is to simply not test anything at all. That's not ideal. Cypress provides an open-source browser-based test runner that can experience your website just like the end user would. It might fill out a login form, click the submit button, then navigate to the user dashboard, all of which happens programmatically based on code you define. Every test is recorded and a snapshot is saved at each step. This makes it possible to time travel through the user experience to figure out precisely why your code sucks. And unlike traditional testing utilities, debugging can be performed directly from the browser dev tools. Not only does it work for end-to-end -end testing of an entire application, but it's also great for integration testing and unit testing of isolated components or JavaScript business logic. To get started, install it into your project, then run npx cypress open. Notice how this pulls up the test runner automatically and creates a folder in the root of your project named Cypress that contains all of your testing code. Fixtures is where you would define mock data. Plugins allow you to hook into the testing lifecycle. Support is for your global configuration. Then your main testing code lives in the integration file. We can create a test suite with describe. Then before each test, we can run some setup code, like tell Cypress to visit a specific URL. From there, use it to describe a test case where you might verify that the web page contains a certain piece of content. The get method will grab an element from the DOM and allow you to run assertions on it, like it should have the text login. It bundles the chai assertion library for behavior-driven development, which will autocomplete with IntelliSense. From there, you may want to find a form input and type something into it. After the form is filled out, submit it to update your database. The great thing about Cypress is that it will automatically wait for async events, which means you don't need to add a bunch of sleepers in your test code. Things just work naturally. Now run your test to watch everything go down visually. Visually. A snapshot of the DOM is taken for every event. If an assertion fails, you can easily inspect the DOM to see what went wrong. On top of that, you can open the selector playground to easily grab any element on the page. By default, it runs in Chrome, but you can also run in Firefox, Edge, or Electron for desktop apps. This has been Cypress in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this. And if you want to learn more about testing, my friend Bartos just launched a free end-to-end -end testing course. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one one.